In this video, we're going to look at how to design characters for Stencil. Now, before we start, I'm not a graphic artist and I'm not an artist, so I'm really not going to give you advice on how to design stuff, how to draw anything like that. We are going to use an amazing website called PiscalApp.com. It will be in the description of the video if you want to just click on that to go there. My first advice before you do anything in Piscal App is make sure you make an account for yourself. It saves everything online. It's free. You can get to your characters and your drawings from any computer in the world. And it is, in my opinion, one of the best pixel art software or websites anywhere. And it makes making characters just way too easy for when we're making games. What I've got here is a rocket that I'm making for a spaceship game. And I started off with the base rocket, which is here. And then what I did was use the duplicate frame to create an exact copy of the first frame. And then I added some small flames at the bottom of it. And I repeated that twice, making the flames bigger. If you look over here on the top right, you can see that the rocket is now animating. And that's Piscal App's normal way. It animates all your frames automatically. And you can see that the fire looks good, but I'm missing two frames because as you can see, the fire gets from small, medium to big, and then it disappears. So what I'd like to do is actually have that animation running a bit smoother. So if we have a look at my frames, I've got no fire, I've got small fire, medium fire, and then the largest fire or the largest flame. What I'm going to do is go back to frame number three. I'm going to duplicate that, pick it up and move it to the bottom. Go to the second frame, which is my first fire, duplicate that frame and move that to the bottom. And what you'll notice in the preview window is that my flame is now actually running a lot smoother. I, of course, don't have to duplicate the first frame because when the animation runs, it will go back to the first one and then play it in a loop. So you don't really need the first frame to be duplicated. Now, normally what you would do in a situation like this is you would save each picture separately, put them into Stencil or any other program, and then kind of by hand animate your characters. We are going to take advantage of a really cool feature in Piscal App. I'm going to go over here to the export button. I'm going to click on it. You see a panel comes up. Now, this picture was set up as a 50 by 50. That's normally quite a nice size for stencil. And what it's saying here is I want to export this as PNGs. Now, PNGs are important because PNGs give you transparency. That means your character will be transparent where there's no color and only the character will show. This is really important for characters. And what we're going to do is we're going to export it as a sprite sheet. This particular sprite sheet is going to have two columns and three rows. Don't worry if that doesn't make sense because I'll show you exactly what happens when we export a sprite sheet. I'm going to click on the download button here. Just wait for it to do its thing and you can see it's saved something called rocket.png and I'll open that up so you can have a look at it. And what you can see is the sprite sheet is actually all of our rockets or all of our pictures in one picture. So that's picture one, two, three, four, five, and six in that order. Now, there's almost no limit to how many frames you can have in an animation. But for the sake of a game running smoothly, I wouldn't have more than 10 frames for a character. And also you can have multiple animations. So I wouldn't put them all into the same animation. So now that we've got our sprite sheet, what can we do in Stencil? Well, let's open up Stencil and see what we can do. Now here you can see I've started a new game. I've got my level one sorted out. I haven't got any actors yet, so let's make a new actor and then use the sprite sheet to create a ready-made animation. We'll go to our actors. We're going to click here. We're going to create a new actor called Rocket. And just like always, when we create a new character, there are no animations. So we click to add an animation. I'm going to just call this rocket flying, something like that. I'm going to click to add a frame. Now, normally what would happen here is we would choose an image and then add one frame to our animation and then go back and add another frame and another frame. In this case, we're going to use the sprite sheet to make our animation in one go. Now, before we choose an image, Always make sure that you choose one times for your scale because we want our picture to be exactly the size that we made it. Let's go to choose image and I'm going to go and choose the rocket PNG sprite sheet that was downloaded a few minutes ago. 
And you can see once I've loaded my sprite sheet, it's in here, although it kind of looks wrong because it's actually six rockets instead of one. So what I have to do here is I have to tell Stencil that in fact, my sprite sheet has two columns. You can see a black line comes there already. And there are three rows. Now you can see that my rocket sprite sheet has been divided into six boxes. Everything else I can kind of leave as it is, as it's not really important right now. And we'll press add. And you can see that instantly, rather than having one big sprite sheet, it's cut my sprite sheet into the separate rockets. And you can see the animation is running really smoothly up there. Now this is going to save you a lot of time making animations and you can make really complicated animations like this. I also want to show you that we can use these frames to actually create different animations. So for example, I've got a rocket flying. I would actually like a rocket which isn't flying. So that's literally frame zero with no flames coming out of it. So what I'm going to do is click on the plus sign, make a new animation. I'm going to call it rocket still like this. It doesn't really have a frame, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my original rocket flying. I'm going to click on my first frame. I'm going to go down the bottom, and I'm going to copy this frame. I'm going to go to rocket still. I'm going to click to add a frame, and I'm just going to paste from the clipboard. And you can see it's just pasted the image I copied just now. Press add, and I've now got a still rocket for my still animation, and I've got my fire rocket for my moving animation. And I think you'll agree that this is a really fast way of getting our characters from Piscal app directly into Stencil without really much hassle.